guys, this is Shannon from Skip To My Life, and on today's video, I'll be showing you five ideas for fall decor I promise you've never seen before. Let's get going. If you love to live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget, I am here for you at Skip To My Life. I'm gonna give you some alternate ideas for traditional fall colors today, and you can adapt these to whatever decor you choose, but we're gonna start with a large pumpkin wreath. This is my studio office, and we're gonna take down this summer print that I made, and you can see how I made that in my office tour that's linked down below. And we're gonna make a beautiful wreath that's gonna be a focal center point. If you've been watching Skip To My Life for a while, you know that I like to repurpose things. So I cut apart an old white t-shirt and covered this Dollar Tree hula hoop with that fabric. Now this white background really isn't gonna show much, so you don't have to make it meticulous, but we are gonna cover it with the white t-shirt fabric by glue gunning that on and then just cutting off the straggling pieces. Now I'm gonna show you how to create several different styles of pumpkin decorations. Now the first one, we're gonna start with a styrofoam pumpkin from Dollar Tree. They have these out every single year. These are great bases to work with. And for this wreath, we're gonna start by just removing, cutting off the back of that styrofoam pumpkin with a serrated kitchen knife. Now we're gonna start by decoupaging the front side of the styrofoam pumpkin with the paper that I found from Hobby Lobby. The ISBN numbers on the back if you wanna look for this exact paper, but you can really use whatever you have on hand. You can use paper napkins, uh, tissue paper, wrapping paper, whatever you like. I'm making a simple decoupage medium with regular school glue and water. It does not have to be expensive glue at all. And then I'll paint that over the top of the styrofoam pumpkin and attach the wet pieces of paper. Depending on what you use to cover your pumpkin, you may wanna start by painting the pumpkin white first. In my situation, the orange really didn't show through much, but I did do about two layers of the paper, applying the decoupage medium over each layer and just put on some fun music or a podcast, and this is a great mindless activity. Now we're gonna add a little bit of detail to this pumpkin by applying just some white acrylic paint, some gold acrylic paint, and I bought both of these at Target for a dollar each. I know Dollar Tree also sells these. I'm gonna start by creating some dimension in the center of that pumpkin where the stem goes, and then just making lines and following the natural grooves in that styrofoam. As I told you all in my last video, I have been waiting to trick out my studio in complete over the top pink for a while. And so everything I'm doing today is really centered around bright colors and pinks, but you certainly don't have to use those in your fall decor. Many of you commented and said that you're going to use burnt oranges and yellows and things like that. So you can adapt all of the ideas I'm showing you today to your color scheme. Lastly, we'll add just a little bit of 3D dimension with this hot pink fuchsia acrylic paint. I did buy this color at Dollar Tree and I love it. I find myself using this on many of my projects. And lastly, we'll take the stem. I removed this before I decoupaged the pumpkin, painted it white, dipped it in the decoupage medium, and then I'm just going to cover it with very fine glitter. Now, I purchased this fine gold glitter from Walmart, and let me tell you, this lasts and lasts. I mean, you really don't use much at all. So we're going to go ahead and glue gun that little gold pumpkin stem right back on top. And voila, a beautiful little centerpiece for our wreath. Now you wanna make sure to watch all the way to the end when I put this wreath together. Next, we're going to glam up some fabric pumpkins. Now, I'm gonna show you how to make these pumpkins in just a minute, but you can also buy fabric pumpkins at Dollar Tree or many craft stores. I'm simply painting that stem white 
and then adding the decoupage medium to the stem and to the center of the pumpkin. Next, I'll shake that fine gold glitter over the spots where the decoupage medium was and voila, some very fun upscale pumpkins. If you're having fun watching this video, don't forget to let me know by clicking that like thumbs up button. Next, I'm gonna show you how to create those fabric pumpkins that we were just working with. And I'm gonna start with three items I purchased from a thrift store. One is a blouse, one is a t-shirt, and one is child's leggings. If you watched my fall haul, you have seen these before and I showed you exactly what I purchased at the thrift store. I got some really great bargains. So if you haven't seen that fall haul video, you probably wanna go back and watch that. It's linked down below. I used a cake plate as my form for making circles out of each of these three pieces. And I was left with circles that were exactly the same shape. Now I'm gonna tell you, one of these fabrics was stiff, the other two were very stretchy. So I'm gonna show you what method I used to make sure that all three of these pumpkin forms ended up about the same size. I've made so many of these soft pumpkins for gifts and for decor. I'm gonna show you all the hacks and tips I've discovered. First of all, you want to make a little purse out of that pumpkin fabric by threading some dental floss. Now double this over and knot it at the end, and it's going to make a little drawstring effect. Then you'll simply stuff that little drawstring bag with some polyfill. Now this is just from an old pillow that I wasn't using anymore. Tie it very tightly and that's where the dental floss comes in because you really don't want that string to break. And then you're simply gonna start making lines down the sides as we see in a real pumpkin. We'll repeat this process over and over and each time we're gonna tie that knot really tight so it makes indentations. And then it starts to become our pumpkin form. If you have the stretchy jersey material, a fun way and easy way to make your pumpkins about the same size is to use a cup or a glass or some kind of measure. Fill that with your polyfill and then you'll know that each of your pumpkins are gonna be approximately the same size because this jersey fabric will just stretch and stretch. So you'll end up with pumpkins of all different sizes. Now, if you like that effect, go for it. But if you want them to be about the same size, which is what I was going for, you wanna use some type of measure. I am using a long blunt needle. Now I know Dollar Tree sells these in their hair weaving kits. If you don't have one and you're looking for one, you can also buy them at any craft store or at Walmart. Now we're gonna make stems for our soft pumpkins and we're gonna use a white chenille stem. I did purchase these at Hobby Lobby. I think it was $2.50 for about 50 of them, so very economical. I'm just cutting off about a two inch section of that chenille stem, bending it in half, coating it with my decoupage medium, and then dipping it in the fine glitter. Once this is dried completely, I just need a tiny dab of hot glue at the center and the chenille stem will stick wonderfully. Okay, friends, here is the really fun part. We're gonna put all these pumpkin ideas together on this gorgeous wreath form. So I started by attaching some chenille stems to the back of each and every one of these pumpkins. I used some of that t-shirt material to adhere the chenille stem there. And this way, because the stem is white and the t-shirt is white, you will not see it against the white hoop. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm giving you a big virtual hug and saying welcome and come on in. We have so much fun here with DIY decor, small space organizing, and all things fun and crafty. The next step in putting this DIY fall decor wreath together is attaching those chenille stems to the back of my foam pumpkin. I'm gonna do it just the same way, a little piece of that t-shirt as well as the stems. And now let's start attaching those pumpkins. Mm -hmm. 
I'm simply twisting the chenille stem around the back till I get the pieces just where I want them. My white glammed up pumpkins are on either side of the centerpiece foam pumpkin. And then we'll place all the neon pumpkins to the side. If you're coming back to skip to my life, thanks so much for sticking with me. It's so much fun to get to know all of you through your comments and what you're doing this fall. Let me know if you plan to use any of the colors I featured today or if you will be adapting them to your color scheme. If you're having fun watching this video, don't forget to give me a like, a thumbs up button. It lets me know which videos you love best and which videos I should continue to make for you. Of course, if you have any ideas of videos you would like me to make, please leave that down in the comment section for me. And for the finishing touches on this glam fall wreath, we are gonna add some silk flowers in the colors of peach and hot pink. Now I purchased these at Dollar Tree. And then I'm gonna add a little deco mesh bow to the top. This was also from Dollar Tree. Let me know in the comment section, do you like it with the bow or without the bow? I am still a little bit undecided about that. I left the bow on for now, but you guys tell me which look do you prefer? I have to say, I love the way that this turned out. It adds so much brightness and fun to my little studio. I also think it would be a great wreath if you're having a fall baby shower or wedding shower. And I forgot to mention, this is just a wood frame that I found at the thrift store. It was about $5. It was originally gold and I just gave it a light white wash. Now we'll be creating a small pumpkin wreath, but let me tell you, it may be small, but it definitely packs a bunch. We're starting with some of these Dollar Tree cream colored pumpkins, and I'm going to start by spray painting them with a flat white spray paint. I got this idea on Pinterest and I have been dying to try it. I'm using one of these small metal Dollar Tree forms and some of the automotive white cloths. I just had scraps of these in my craft stash. And again, we're going to create a white background. So this does not have to be perfect. It's just something for those pumpkins to adhere to. Today's question of the day, comment below and let me know your favorite fall snack. Mine is a mixture of candy corn and peanuts. Have y'all ever made these where you've mixed together the sweet and salty? For me, it's just addictive and I have to be careful how much of that I have around the house. The effect here is gonna be a color wheel spectrum. So I just got out all my trusty chalk paints. Now, if you've been here a well, while, you know I make my own chalk paint using very inexpensive latex paint and diatomaceous earth. So I planned out what I was gonna do just a little bit. Now I'll show you how I did that exactly, but I do wanna tell you, I used more pumpkins than I showed here. I ended up going out and buying a couple more bags. So I will tell you the count on my final pumpkins if you wanna recreate this exactly. I was listening to an online class while I was doing this, and it was so much fun and so relaxing. I love multitasking like this where you can learn something and then at the same time be creative. Do you all do that too or is it just me? Now I'm just gonna take my time and attach these pumpkins where I think they look best. I started with the biggest pumpkins and put those on equal sides to add some symmetry to the wreath. And once I had everything just the way I wanted it, I took some high gloss Mod Podge and I covered those pumpkins very generously with this high gloss Mod Podge. Then I laid it outside to kind of bake in the sun. It's still really hot here. And when I was finished, this is my finished product and I couldn't be happier. Now you could use this as a wreath, but I thought it made a great candle form. 
And that's probably how I'm going to be using it as a transition piece from summer to fall. And you can adapt this to be an ombre effect for just one color, just by lightening that paint, the very little and going around that way. You can make it all one color. You could use the pumpkins as they come naturally. However you decide you want to modify this idea. Thanks so much for coming along in today's video. I can't wait to hear how you're gonna use these ideas in your own fall decor. Hey, did you know that you are my hero today? And don't forget, no matter what you're going through, today is not the end of your story. So until next time, this is Shannon from Skip to My Life.